for having me, this is Jane's Videos, and I'm back with another Halloween 2020 prop review, and this one is on a smaller prop, it's not as big, of course, but I still thought it deserves a review. This one is the Misting Lab Beaker. Now, this is returning for 2020 uh, to Lowe's. It was sold last year, but it's returning this year for Halloween 2020, and it is being sold at Lowe's for $24.99, which I do think is on the pricey side for something this small but I had to get it when I saw it because it fits my haunt theme very well because I'm doing a laboratory theme so I thought it's going to work perfectly as a background prop. First off it does look great it looks really cool it I'm not a big fan of modern Jemmy as I know a lot of us aren't but I think this is definitely one of their better things. I think Jemmy's still good at inflatables, lighting, and tabletop props. They just lack in the life sizes as of lately. But this one is pretty cool. You can see it's got a skull there, which looks really nice. It's got a lot of nice detail all around. Dirt detailing. You can't really see it too well on the camera, but it does look cool. Now this is more of a flask than a beaker, but they call it a beaker, so I don't know why, but this is actually a flask. Down here you've got the stand, which is pretty basic looking, not too much detailing or anything, but it's fine. And then you've got the little flame right there that lights up, which I really like uh, how it does that. I think it really adds to the effect. And then you have the base, which has a little skull on it, and the sensor, which is my issue with it. One of my issues is that it is only motion sensor activated, which I do think is an issue. Now, of course, the main thing with this prop is that it mists, which I think is the coolest part about it. If it didn't mist, I think it would be pretty boring. But I think the misting is a really, really cool touch. I think it's very awesome. Um, I really like these misting things. I think they're cool. It definitely makes it seem more realistic. So basically, the way that you make it mist is that you pour a bit of water into the top of the uh, flask there. And you can actually see the water inside there, which I, I also think is cool because it definitely looks like it has some kind of concoction in there. But uh, And then you turn it on and it mists. So without further ado, let's demo what this does. So there you have it. It's a pretty cool effect when it's misting like that. I think it looks really cool. Uh, it's a lot like the genie lamp from a couple years back, which I own. But uh, I really like this one. I think it's going to be great in the haunt as a little background prop. Now, I do have a couple issues. My main issue is the audio. I honestly wish it didn't have any audio because it's really cheesy, jemmy, laboratory sounding audio. And I, I don't like that too much. I really wish it just stuck with no audio. I think that would have been better. But it is what it is. It's still really cool, but my other issue is that it is only motion sensor activated, so it's not going to go off very easily in the dark, which is another issue. And I'd say my biggest complaint is you saw how short that activation was. It is extremely short, and that's a problem because to have a prop like this, that whole thing goes around it misting and stuff, you kind of want a longer activation than just a few seconds so you can really see what it's doing. But I, I don't know why they didn't just make it constant. I really would have liked if there was a constant option or if the activation was at least 30 seconds long. But constant, I think, would be better because of the fact that it's only motion sensor activated, and that's a problem. But with those out of the way, those are really my only complaints with it. So I do really like this, though. I, I Another complaint is that it is on the pricey side. It is $24.99. I think $19.99 would have been a better price for this for sure. I kind of understand why they did a little bit more expensive, because though it doesn't have any animation, it has a little uh, thing in there to make it mist. And so that kind of makes sense, but I still don't think it justifies the $25 price tag. I think that's a little much. I think this should definitely be $20. But overall, I'm going to rate this 
misting lab beaker a 7 out of 10. It's definitely really cool, it's definitely very unique, it's very different, and if you're doing a laboratory theme, which I know I'm, I'm probably one of the only people doing that this year because I haven't th heard of anyone else doing it, but if you are doing a laboratory theme, let me know in the comments below because that'd be pretty interesting to know if we're doing the same theme. But if you're doing a laboratory theme like I am, or if you just really like this, then I highly recommend you should get it, though it is pricey, I think it's definitely uh, something that you might want to consider picking up if you like it. I hope you all enjoyed. Keep out with the moon, my werewolves.